Hey, everybody. How's it going today? Hey, man. Hey, I'm awesome. Awesome. Evan, how's it going? Good to be here. Good, good, good. Now, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm so excited. Appreciate you guys taking the time to join us. So if you guys are ready to jump into it, uh, we can get going. Everybody ready? Yes. So ready. Ready to go. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Taryn, you're, you're kind of uh, first on my screen, so you get to lead it off, man. Hey everyone, I'm Taryn Gazelle, best known as Triathlon Taryn Online, and I am trying to stay warm in Winnipeg, Canada. Morning, Trainiacs. Morning, Trainiacs. Morning, Trainiacs. We have a very fun day planned. All of these drills are assuming that you've got some basic comfort and capability in the pool. The data that you get with the Aura Ring, but as far as total sleep, 10% or more above his FTP. The well-trained eyes out there will notice there's a green map. Later, Trainiacs. Hey everybody, my name is James Lawrence, known as the Iron Cowboy, originally from Calgary, Canada, and I now live in beautiful Utah, which is one of the best places in the world to train. My name is James Lawrence, I'm the Iron Cowboy, and this is my gym. everybody, it's Ben Hoffman. Um, I'm in Tucson, Arizona. It's nice and warm down here right now. I'm Meredith Kessler, and I am from the great Buckeye State of Columbus, Ohio. Tim O'Donnell and this is Marinda Caffrey. <laughs> yeah, and we live here in Boulder, Colorado. I'm from um, Brisbane, Australia. I'm from San Luis Obispo, California. Thank you guys. Um, first question, what was your first experience in the swim spa? Yeah, so the first experience I ever had was uh, actually right after my injury in 2018, I had a sacral stress fracture and uh, you know, we we're kind of looking at ways to rehab and make sure that this didn't happen again. And uh, one of the only things I could do was swim. And I was fortunate to connect uh, with Master Spas out in, in Kona, Hawaii. And they were they had a presence at the Ironman World Championships. And, uh, and then I followed up and I actually was able to go up to a dealer in Phoenix and test out one of the spas there. And 
straight away, I was blown away. I knew I needed to have this thing. And so we really uh, stayed on it and pursued the relationship and then uh, was able to get one in my own backyard here. I did some lessons at um, Swim Labs uh, a few years ago, and that was my first experience. And then my first time in the Master Spa was actually coming out to visit in uh, Fort Wayne uh, last year. Um, I think it was four weeks or five weeks before Kona. That was honestly the best photo shoot I've ever done in my life because they're like, oh, just relax in the relax in the jets now. I'm like, okay. And we actually only got ours um, the beginning of this year. So yeah, we've, we got it right before COVID hit actually, which was clutch. <laughs> you left out a part though on the first time of trying ours. What happened like two days before or three days before? I actually fell and broke my arm. So a su- super freak accident um, was before the race. I wasn't even in the race. So I was trying to shuffle um, and run as slow as possible. It was like the Friday, two days before the race. So it was rest day, but I wanted to move after the flight. And yeah, broke my, um, broke my arm. So I flew, f- still flew out to um, see the Master Spa family. And so it was, it was pretty much one arm swimming. Uh, so they, they didn't make me swim a whole lot. It was more relaxing, as I said, um, in the jets, which was actually amazing. <laughs> and I will say uh, she would have blown by me in her swimming race with one arm. And so it was pretty amazing to, to see you do that. That was really cool. So I'd always been eyeing a master spa, right? And I was like, really wanted one. I didn't know how to go about doing it. And so I texted my good friend, Rin, you know, you, you want to be cognizant of people and their sponsors. And I was like, Hey, Rin, if you don't feel comfortable, there's no pressure here. But if, if there's any way you can connect me with Master Spas, I'd be so grateful. And like she responded in like 30 seconds. And then an hour later, I was connected. Then it all happened really fast within maybe four weeks. Uh, Teddy, my local de- dealer in Ohio, he and his team came out. Um, a big old crane went over our home and six very tall gentlemen just rolled it into a spot, its spot. And then like, Two days later, I was swimming in the Master Spa. So, Rinny, thank you, and to the Master Spa's teams. My first experience was one that was not swimming. Um, I kind of got pushed out of the pool. Um, I just had mine installed in the middle of, of, uh, of the COVID situation. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I have five kids. And um, I don't know if any of you have tried to swim in a swim spa, uh, a Master Spa with five other kids in it. But it makes it very, very challenging. <laughs> Um, I can't get my kids out of it. And so I almost have to schedule my own swim time in my master spa. Um, but I, I love it because the whole family gets to use it. You just can't have the, the attention to detail um, in, a, in a public space with a lot of people like you can with this setup. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm just, I'm still having my first experience with it because everything is new and there's always new things to add to it and new elements that I get to do an experience. So man, what a, what a great family to be a part of. And I'm, I'm really excited for what's coming up. For the swim spa, one of the things is where am I going to put it, right? You all have really great uh, installations. Kind of share with us where your swim spa is. I was living at my dad's house at the time because I just permanently moved back to California and he he kind of takes a while to grasp things, so I, uh, I, so I just kind of didn't mention it to him. He came home from work and they were out there pouring concrete, and he goes, "What's happening in my backyard?" And I go, oh, "Dad, we're we're getting a swim spa." And uh, they craned it in, and then of course he's all excited, bragging to the neighbors and everything. And um, but then with the whole COVID situation, I had the opportunity to move into my own house because uh, real estate's really good. Um, right now so I texted Mike and I said uh, you know I think I it, can I crane this thing again what, is it possible and he's like yeah I think it's gonna be okay and so it, yeah I made it here safely and um, now my dad is stuck with a concrete pad in his yard <laughs> and he doesn't know what to do <laughs> he has to pretend to be mad at me for like a night now he loves to tell the story of course so yeah. it all worked nice. out Mine is actually in our garage, our, our okay. studio. We, we built and insulated a 720 square foot uh, video shooting studio, which is also my training studio and, uh, and our work office. It's funny when we ever have workers over to go into the studio and do anything on it, they're expecting to walk in and see a garage with a car and they walk in and there's a swimming pool in our garage. And uh, it's been great. Obviously a swim spa is not small 
while they're growing in rapidly in awareness, a lot of people still don't know about them. Um, what's been the reaction from your friends, your family, social media followers uh, about you having a swim spa? So uh, we live right um, on open space. So there's trails and it's basically like a highway for walkers and hikers. Okay. And, you know, Rennie will be swimming and I'll see people just videoing her while she's swimming. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Uh, we had one couple say, hey, we're going to we're going to hop in your hot tub at some point here. So just please don't call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> when COVID happened, I instantly became like the kid that had the pool table in the neighborhood. Like I was so popular. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, Tyler Mislachuk, our Canadian Olympic hopeful, he came and did some swimming in the swim spa to maintain some swim fitness. Um, so we've had uh, over the past year, I want to say about a half a dozen people come over and try it out. So my swim buddy was the one that told me to get the um, to, to try to get one and he calls it the washing machine. So and then uh, my brother comes over to use it. Uh, he's thinking about maybe doing an Ironman. So he was excited that I was moving closer to his house. So now he's able to come use it during his lunch break. We've seen debates with um, parents and their kids. Is it a pool? Is it a hot tub? And yeah. they're <laughs> yelling over the fence asking us and we're like, it's both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you know, the, the elephant in the room right now is the pandemic, right? It's a big elephant. Um, how has having the Master Spa Swim Spa during this time uh, been helpful. I, I keep saying this, that the master spa, it sounds corny, but it's honestly enriched our lives. Like we genuinely use it every night. Like tonight we'll go in, uh, you know, when you have a two year, almost three year old, I guess you're like trying to tire them out in excess and master spas helps with that. It's great to train in, don't get me wrong, but then there's a whole other um, element of the recovery side, but also the relaxed side with your family. And so given that we're home a lot more in the pandemic, that allows us the opportunity to have a resource to go to. One thing that actually happened right at the beginning of the pandemic was that Kelsey had scheduled uh, swim lessons for Josie, our daughter. And, you know, we obviously couldn't do that. Um, and just the, the lady told us, she's like, I'm canceling everything right away. And so that was a big dis disappointment for us. But, you know, because we had this in our backyard, we were able to kind of take that on ourselves. And now we go out there all the time with Josie and she loves it. And uh, awesome. yeah, it's just one of those kind of silver linings, you know, of having it right here was that we were able to get her comfortable with water right away um, as a less than one year old at the time. We were in panic mode, uh, really. Uh, my wife and I are both athletes and it, it's kind of our escape. I mean, I have four, uh, sorry, five kids, four teenage girls. And so you can imagine how crazy our household gets. And when we're all forced to be home at the same time for a long period, um, it was great to get out there and escape. Um, and, and just, again, echoing Meredith, the family aspect of it. I mean, it has been great to have fr friends come over and family come over and just that bonding experience. I think it's anxious times for everybody, even if you're a bit insulated in certain ways, you know, everybody's feeling this and you know, having that, I guess, hydrotherapy aspect to it where you can just go out and relax. It's like a bit of meditation or you can give yourself some time every day to just relax and kind of, yeah, you know, just let go of some of that stress. What came to my mind after, um, you know, we got ours here and set up was that I'll just call Rinny and see if she wants to do like a casual triathlon. And that's where we, you know, and we base the distances off of our, our um, kids like age and birthdays. And so we swam two, two miles in it, like, you know, she and her master spas in Boulder and me here in Ohio. And it was just fun. And then, by the way, we went into our she sheds. That's what they're called. She sheds uh, to bike and run after. But um, I, I felt like it was just fun to have that kind of camaraderie is what I'm saying together in a, you know, in a pandemic. And it's not like we were racing. We were just kind of like enjoying it together. So I thought that was fun for us to do uh, back in May. I think even Ben participated in that a little bit. Didn't you do a little cameo in that, Mr. Hoffman? I did, I did yeah. Um, it didn't involve swimming, but yeah, I was in the spa like hanging out. And I was able to, like this that's right, yeah. I was, showing yeah. The, I was showing some of the other elements of the swim spa. Um, he was focused the on the recovery. Side. Yeah, the right, yeah, relaxation exactly. recovery, right? What is your favorite feature or the best surprise benefit you didn't expect from the swim spa? 
the biggest thing that was surprising to me was how the sensation of it actually wasn't like a pool. And what I found really quickly, and I think this is why I ended up coming back to the pool recently and swimming better than I ever have, is because it's like basically every stroke that I take in the swim spa forces me to swim with good technique. So it's just repetition upon repetition while I'm swimming probably less than I was two seasons ago. So that was the biggest thing is that yeah. I can swim more efficiently, be more efficient with my time and still make improvements. Once again, I'm going to let Taryn talk about all the performance and I'm going to talk about the fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> For us, it's been like watching our daughter, Izzy, who just turned three, um, her improvement in the pool uh, and just how confident and um, calm she is in the water. I mean, we, go out there and she is, you know, we have all the jets on and we have the, um, the spa going and it can like push you around back there. Right. And she'll just jump in. She'll be hanging on the, the end, <laughs> let herself blast off, be down under the water, pop back up. Um, and she, yeah, she's, she can swim as a three-year-old. She's always been pretty comfortable in the water, but I think this has really just enhanced um, just how confident she is and her, you know, ability to, you know, find the surface and, and get air when she needs it. Pretty amazing how it's it's kind of created this like focal point in our backyard where we get together now as a family and spend a little bit more time. I mean, I would, I'll say that like when we were training really hard for a big race, you know, oftentimes we're pretty smashed at the end of the day, we're really tired. Um, and this provides a place where instead of maybe just laying on a couch and looking at my phone or something, I can actually engage with my family a little bit and spend some time and connect in a meaningful way. Purple lights. Is you love purple light setting. When we were scrolling through the colors and she found purple, it was like Christmas morning. And then I would say the other thing probably that comes to mind is that I think we all know as athletes too, um, the benefits of being in water and uh, especially from a recovery side. And that includes even doing maybe an easier swim in the spa. Um, but I've been amazed that just having it in the backyard, maybe it's not even on my schedule. The coach doesn't say you have a swim today, but I'm like, well, it's right here. And I know that I'm going to feel better tomorrow for my hard run or hard bike. So I'm going to jump in, splash around for, you know, 15 or 20 minutes and the recovery benefits, benefits are obvious the next day. So um, as Taryn said, it's really improved my technique. I'm much faster in the normal pool now than I ever was, which is super exciting. It, it definitely helped my endurance. I was texting Mike about it that I feel like uh, my endurance is, has translated to the running more so. Um, so that's really exciting. And then also, I didn't really sign up for it for the recovery aspect. Uh, Mike told me what Ben does is use the swim spa jet as therapy, just like deep tissue massage. So I can't, I go every night. Uh, it's become a huge part of my daily routine. My My house was ready two weeks before they were ready to move the pool. But I stuck around at my dad's because I couldn't, I couldn't uh, adjust that routine. It was all, it's become a huge, huge part of, of my staying healthy. I, I was, I didn't think it would be good for water running before we got it. And uh, I got in there and it's, it's perfect. You know, great height. Uh, the speed of the jets is awesome. And of course, the traction pad on the bottom of the, uh, of the spa. Uh, it's perfect. Yeah. Do you have the current, up to a high speed, where, where on yours do you think you have that set at? For the yeah, I um, don't want to brag, but I put it up to 25. Yeah. <laughs> He's Jordan coming Park. after you, Ben. What? He's coming after you. What? I'm not even, you're, gosh, I put it at like 13, actually. Well, <laughs> for me, I actually use the flotation belt when I'm aqua running in there, just because th more therapeutic, I just um, use the belt, but that's insane, that's crazy. <laughs> You know, I liked, I liked when I uh, aqua jog, you use the ground, um, unless I'm injured. And I've been injured plenty of times where, like Jordan said, you got to put the belt on and do more of a deep water run. But um, for me, it's just, it, it's so great, you know, the day after a long run, uh, to just get in there and loosen up the hips and work on your, your foot strike and, and your drive. And for me, it's, yeah, it's really helped, helped my running too. Thank you guys so much. Uh, this was really super fun. Thank you for taking this time. Also, more importantly, most importantly, thank you for being a part of the Master Spots family. We appreciate uh, what you guys are doing out there. We know you all are working your butts off in, in your respective fields. And uh, it's exciting for us to, to see that and to be a part of that as well. 
Uh, we're looking forward to coming out of this thing, uh, you know, the remainder of the year. Hopefully things open up a bit more and uh, can't wait to see what you guys are, are going to be doing um, as we come out of it. So, so again, thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Family.